This exam application tutorial looks at the topic of cloning. The question is describe the stages in cloning a sheep. In other words, state the different stages involved in reproductive cloning in the correct order. There are two types of cloning, therapeutic and reproductive. If you're cloning an animal, you're doing reproductive cloning. Therapeutic is really for cloning parts of tissues to replace damaged uh, tissues in bodies. So let's say this is the sheep we want to clone. The first thing we have to do is isolate, that means separate, a body cell from the desired sheep. So take and extract a body cell. We then remove the nucleus from the body cell because that contains all the genetic information needed to make an exact copy of that sheep. Meanwhile, we get another sheep and we remove the nucleus from an unfertilized egg cell and you can see those two processes play out here. So we basically enucleate this cell and extract the nucleus, that's what we want. But in the other cell, we basically want to take the egg cell but without the nucleus. So we're going to enucleate and discard the nucleus. Enucleate means remove the nucleus. So you can see here that I've just got the egg cell without the nucleus. So now we have all the genetic information we need to make that sheep. And now we've got the vessel, the basically the machinery we need to help that nucleus develop. So the next stage is insert the nucleus from the body cell into the enucleated egg cell. In other words, the egg cell without its nucleus. And you can see we're doing that there. So we've now moved that nucleus inside the egg cell. So now our egg cell needs a little bit of a kickstart to get it dividing. This comes in the form of an electric shock, a small electric shock. So give an electric shock to stimulate cell division. So you can see the cell starts to divide to form an embryo. So you have to wait until the cell develops into an embryo. And then you just need to put that embryo inside a surrogate sheep. And about six months later, another sheep pops out, the clone, in fact. So you then implant the embryo into the uterus of a surrogate sheep. Implant means basically put the egg onto the uterine wall. And a surrogate sheep is a sheep that will carry the developing embryo and eventually give birth to it. So this is nothing you need to explain really, it's just remembering different stages in a process.